So I, I was just at uh, the rally, which is a nice place to go for uh, dinner. I was feeling like going out. It's a Sunday night, and Stephen saw there's some kind of like really nice uh, food thing that he wanted. What is it? Shirashi. It's, Shirashi, yeah. It's a sushi and sashimi. Yeah, it looks really good. And people were outside eating, so we thought, okay, let's uh, make, an, make an appointment. We called ahead, and he was like, yeah, come on down. We're open till 8. I knew it was outdoor seating only. Um, you know, today is uh, May 31st, 2020, and there's kind of some fear among some people about uh, the COVID-19. Um, Look, the, but the, not for the everyone. weirdest thing, he first he was like, "Let me sanitize your table." I'm thinking, I want to tell him, "Don't." Well, no, there were like crumbs and stuff. I get yeah, that. No, you got to clean a table off. And then the sanit anyway, he, he so was then like he, he com hands comes. He's a server. He doesn't bring us a menu or anything. Instead, he's like on the other side of a fence. He's on the other side of a fence. He has plastic gloves on, which do nothing for us. And he has a, a, he has mask, a mask on. on. He's the only one at the restaurant, like the other people sitting. The with... other customers are just fine. No one, yeah. no one wants this. Then he says, he can take our order, but we have to get, we have to get up. He's gonna place the food like 20, Over there. 20 feet away on a table. Yeah. And then we are gonna have to get up and go get it. Even though this is like, he's a server. And if we get up, we have to wear a mask. Yeah, we have to. Um, and if we don't have masks, then he said he would provide some for us. Um, but we have to wear them to go get the food that's on a tray, like 20 feet over there. So we, have the, this, we can't be served it, at the restaurant. It, it was, this was insanity, totally insane. It and felt then, really and then he odd. Says, then he says, we're credit card only, no yeah. cash. Which, which I love to pay in cash. That's I always pay in cash, but also, what are you gonna touch my credit card? I mean, what is going on? Right. Yeah, that's this is true. Just totally insane nonsense. So. So then there was like there. a pause, and we kind of looked at each other, and I was like, you know, this isn't the experience that I was looking for tonight. Like, I kind of thought I would come out to a restaurant, get served like a normal um, situation, and uh, so he was like, oh well, okay, you know, the menu on the phone. The pick up your own food across the way, the, the surgical masks and the gloves, like, it felt like not like a restaurant. It wasn't a restaurant. I don't, I don't even know what it was, but it was insane. I mean, like, I went into the, the place the other day because they were selling, like, uh, bottles of wine. And I walked right in, no mask. The owner was there. She had no mask. I handed her cash. She seemed just totally chill. I, I guess it's because it's probably because it's Sunday and there's people from across the border here and they might make a fuss and try to get them shut down if they're not super sanitary. Yeah, well, even I'm worried about what you just said. Like, will that get and will that endanger the rally for, for you? It's saying that you handed cash over and that no, you went won't. inside and there was no mask. No, I don't like, think that's going to make a difference here on this YouTube video. Well, you know, one never knows. I, I want everyone to this was, be able to This operate. was back when there was more of a risk. And it was before. Oh, this was a while ago. It was, yeah, it was long ago, and it was before any of these measures were supposed to be in place. Right. So I guess there's were like new like guidelines way too late anyway. So like, yeah. yeah, there's kind of like new guidelines, right? As businesses are opening, they're saying, "Well, this is what we want you to do." So maybe they're just trying to abide by the new guidelines. But for me, as a customer, it just was not what the experience that I was I, looking it for. Was it was weirdly felt. weird because it seemed like he wanted, he was trying to make us feel better about it by explaining all of these. Precautions yeah, they were taking. As if I'm like panicked. And like, I, I was like, I was feeling people... I'm about to throw up from hearing this right now. Yeah, like, it was a real turn up. Like, really lost my appetite. I was trying to eat some delicious food. They have expensive food. It's not a dump, you know, it's a nice place. So I was really in the mood for some, a good fine dining experience. And that was just so not it. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so <laughs> why would we have to walk? Okay, he's gonna go get the food and then put it on a table and then we're gonna go walk to get it. Why is that necessary? Like, he's getting the food and putting it on a table, just not our table, just some other table. We've gotta go get it. Was he afraid of us? No, I don't think so. Um, any other closing thoughts? It didn't seem like the owners were in or anyone else. Some like bottom of the bucket server. Sunday evening. 
Hey, I don't want to insult anybody. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, he was probably just doing his job as he was instructed, yeah, and I didn't find orders. I didn't find the experience to be very good. Just following and uh, not not through any fault of his, just the the policy just seemed not good. I hope my closing thought is I hope that this changes. I hope that um, you know there are some restaurants that can I can be treated like a regular customer because I'm ready for that. I mean, there was a time when I was like, hey, I'm really panicked. I, I want to stay away from everyone I, I want to have masks that was four months ago but that was a while ago and you know it's almost June now um, I think everything is pretty much blown over no one's really sick on the weekends about half of the people on the streets are wearing masks but this is a tourist town so you know there's a lot of people coming in from other places that masks are required like Massachusetts but um, for the weekdays, almost no one is wearing a mask. The locals. It's more like ten or twenty percent. Mainly ten or twenty percent. Oh yeah, old people, right, and right. Really fat people. And you know, hey, that makes sense. I, I don't criticize anyone who wants to wear a mask. I, I think that's great for you. Do you? Uh, I don't feel like I need one. Uh, I've assessed that risk for myself, and um, yeah, no mask for me. But boy, to be told I can't go to a restaurant. If I don't put a piece of surgical cloth over my face, like, eee. Good try. Try again, guys. I told him. What I said was, think about what's going on here. Like, rethink what you're doing. And he said, oh, just trying to be... And I said, no, rethink what's going on here. It's important to rethink. Think and rethink. Yeah. Start with think. All right. See you later. Go Got to record this too. No, this is Starbucks has Look, where you stand in line, you go around and then you can wait. So they're open, but here's the silly lines that you gotta go around. I don't understand how these arrows actually work because this goes this way, that goes that way. The green lines are here to help. We're all in this together. Is that what it says? Yeah. I find that they use the word but because it's literally not together. Just walk down by Rudy's. Okay. I saw people, Rudy's had the, a restaurant open outside. And one thing that I think that's good that will come of this is that the city of Portsmouth can't ban people from having outdoor seating anymore or like have these stringent, stupid rules. Like, I don't, I guess this culture hasn't quite learned, but outdoor seating is great. <laughs> and they're starting to, to learn that. So here, here's the, uh, oh, they have a tent now. It was just open. It's probably so, for okay, heat. So how, how is this outside? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's inside, but not actual walls, just plastic walls. And that makes it, plastic walls kill the virus, is that right? Is that how it works? Plastic walls kill the virus? Okay, so They're you can't go, best, you yeah. can't go in the restaurant, which is right there. That's the restaurant. But it looks like people can go in here, and then you know, sit on AstroTurf with the little plant. And that's the same as a restaurant, really. You know, it's really, it's, okay. it's pretty nice I in there, actually. I was really happy that they had this set up with the tables out here until they put this tent on top. Like, oh, I, so you saw the tables and were like, oh, this is pretty sweet. I was like, nice, they, look, we don't, no one needs this parking lot for anything. No one ever uses this parking lot. Fill it with tables, like Portsmouth wants outdoor seating. They already wanted it. Insanity.
want to find out who controls this this thing that goes this road that goes back here because I think that this area would thrive. I don't know, General Bite Spot is calling. I think this this whole area back here would thrive if they just removed the barrier between that like this street is the most natural street and it goes all along but then there's this barrier and you can't get past um, and I think if they open that barrier then people would start moving through there and then the energy would start flowing and it would open up the opportunity to have more business more people So that's Commercial Alley over there, right? Yeah, so this is, I see this, like, there's Commercial Alley, then there's this, and I would love to be able to just go through there, um, to get, because I don't want to have to go through the main, the main square part, because it's dumb. You mean over there? Yeah, it, everyone has to return back to the weird, weirdly planned section, instead of going back here. Now... You're always like, oh no, don't go down there. It says private property. Yeah, over there it says you can't go here because it's private property. I didn't see that sign here. There's this, see? Ah. Uh, so, I wonder why, what's the point of this? What's the point of it? to keep cars from going, I'll bet. Because this was, it looks like it's a car way. But yeah. cars shouldn't come this way. Because there's up, like a tree stump here. That's not good for cars. And they could put up one of those things in the center where cars couldn't go by, but, but bicycles could go by and pedestrians. Yeah, bicycles. This, could, this would be so fun to do on a bicycle. And pedestrians could walk this way. It would be great. What is it with salons? Why, why does the state think that salons are so dangerous? Like, like they're like they're highly regulated. What is the deal with that? Um. I don't know. There's gotta be something. But I just can't... My mind speculates about it being a protection racket, generally, because it's a low-skill labor job, and, you know, some people have it, so they want to keep others out. Well, it's not a protection racket, per se. It's just... It's a cart... No. It is a cartel. So a protection racket is someone who say, okay, I guess they're saying they're protecting you the from unlicensed... Yeah, no. So when I worked at the... They're the, protecting themselves from competition is I, what I meant. I That's worked all. at the Texas Salon Union. And yeah. They, you that, worked at the Texas Salon Union? So you know. You should know the answer. That is then. the answer. That, yeah. Like, it was just two, it was these two ladies who were like, did not want more hairstylists. They didn't want more. Like, if there were more, then the prices would go down or they would have to compete to get better. And... They just didn't, and they like they were. It was something like you had to have like three thousand hours of training or some something insane like. <sighs> That's on the side, but salons are the most dangerous place in the world. I like this video of walking around during the apocalypse. Some people are very afraid. 
Others are not. It just happens to coincide with the... The election? The long time predicted exit from the eye of the storm that began in 2008. Was They got us, we passed through the first side of it, then they got us into the eye with a bunch of paper money and propping up all these insane institutions. And then it started collapsing. Ostensibly a couple months before COVID happened, but it turns out that actually happened starting way earlier than they said. And it's because it's just baloney. It's baloney. I would be willing to guess that if they developed a test for other strains of coronavirus, that every single year they could rack up the same numbers of positive tests, of positive cases for coronavirus, because there are thousands of coronaviruses. Huh. Like the common cold. Is... Yeah, but what about this strain? This, this one they can identify as different. Yeah, they can, they can create a test for any strain. But uh -huh. this year is when they decided to create all the tests. I don't know. There seems to be kind of a new one. This one seems different somehow. Sure. It's got like the most attachments or something. Yeah. They did test tube it doesn't, studies. It doesn't invalidate what I'm saying. Though. Well, they did some kind of test tube studies and saw that it was like if you put it in with human lung cells uh, compared to the common household flu or the, the normal flu that happens every year, it's like a hundred times more um, infectious. It's not the flu. I know, but to, to, as a to but as a virus that we understand and can compare things to, it's a hundred times more infectious. Yeah, I believe. Sure. Yeah. My question is: Is there evidence that there weren't other coronaviruses like this in the past decades that have been floating around? It's unclear. It is weird to see restaurants look like this. We should ask. See what I'm saying about there needing to be a, a crosswalk right here? Yeah, it would feel a lot more natural if there was a crosswalk right here. Because people actually are walking. There's that guy who just walked across. We're walking across. That guy's about to walk across. You know what this, do? this way should have a crosswalk. Look, it, it goes right through the town, down to the music hall. Paint one. Oh, paint one onto the street right here. Yeah. That would be good because then cars could look and see. I mean, if it was just like that one. I mean, cars are really good around here about looking to see, you know, our pedestrians crossing. They give them the right of way, like, every time. If there's a crosswalk. If there's a crosswalk, right. So, there could be one there, and it would be on, nice. Because cars on this stretch, it's like 100 yards. But they will go really fast. They do go really fast. There's, no, there's no real reason to go all that fast, because there's, there's just nowhere a, to go. No. Like, you're just going to stop in, like, 100 yards. These people are going to want a crosswalk leading to their place. But, uh, are these rails defunct? Who uses these rails? There's a rail car down there. So, reportedly, if you play music, like over here, like loud music, across the pond will be a, will be able to hear it and complain. Oh. How do you know that? Because there's a brewery over there. Uh, the Great Bay Brewing Company or something. Oh, yeah, and they play music? Yeah, they had an outdoor patio where they were playing loud music, like they had a concert. And the people across the, across the pond complained. But honestly, those people on the north side of the pond, North Mill Pond people, 
they should just feel lucky that their property values are going up because of all of this and try and reduce their taxes which are too high You think this is right for me? I think so too. This looks like me. It's really not. Nice. Yeah. It's really a rather fine place. Okay. You don't really like grunge. No, I'm not grungy. I'm this kind of tree. <laughs> Speaking of that, flower trees. I threw them away. Those are real. Are they? Wow, well, well done. that yoga teacher, she always reminds you that self-love is the most important attitude, the most important way of being. I want to save this this day. because of all the buildings. The way it feels different. It feels different? Yeah. There's some people who are deathly afraid and then there's others who are not. Like no one in there was wearing a mask. The three no young people who went by. Mostly no one's afraid. No one. It's Probably. just businesses or something or what? It's Look, people who people who work at restaurants are less bright than people who patronize them. I would say on average. And so they're going to listen to Daddy Sununu. King Sununu. King Sununu, his excellency. I don't think, I don't know if they're less bright, but less. they're less empowered. You know, they have to have this job. Hey, this is cool. This looks great. Yeah. This art space. This looks awesome. So this, of all the places that we went, this feels the most open. There were no restaurants like this. Well, all the restaurants so far have been like scared and closed down and this one's happy this one feels upbeat and alive they got good happy music See, and people here you about grunge. Grungy people don't care. yeah this is grungy over here but on purpose yeah it's good right it's got the rust it's on that building which i never liked it's but i like that it's alive it's like punk it's punk rock okay and there's a lot of baloney out there that punk rock just says enough of this we don't this is stupid this is dumb stuff and we're gonna make fun of it and ignore it and do our own thing and that's what is a reasonable thing to do in these, in these days yeah i agree hey there's salt mountain i like watching the guys weld. the guys what i come over here on my wheel and like, and just wheel around and watch guys weld stuff. Up here? Yeah, the sparks are flying. Reminds me, I probably better write some code or something. Or else what? 
I see all these men working, doing manly things, you know, they're fishermen or they're welding. And they see me and I'm just like riding around on my wheel. And I'm like, guys, you gotta understand, I'm an engineer, you know? But, uh, so sometimes I feel like, oh, I better get back to work uh, doing my engineering stuff. Otherwise, I'm not gonna live up to these manly men. <laughs> right. Don't pull out man ya. They should buy Bitcoin, I guess. Yeah. They could. You want to go back this way? Yeah, but the fees. I want to walk on this side of the sidewalk. I don't want to walk past those tables. 10%. It's too high. What's too high? Oh, the 10%. Right. Well, that's fine. Everyone's got choices. So this whole building thing is new, right? right yeah. This there used to be nothing here. Check out that. So there's, there's, there's That's the rooftop bar? Yeah. I wanna go there. Jared Jared was like, let's go. Like, yeah. Jared I don't think you can go. To the rooftop bar? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I was asked that on Free Talk Live yesterday. They they were I was like, Oh, you know, Portsmouth's great, everyone's out, having a good time. And they were like, Can you go to the bar? I was like, no, I, no, I mean no, I don't no, know. No, not that. Jared is 20 years old. Oh, he is. <laughs> oh, but he's used to living like, in Spain. Go. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I always forget. In Spain, he has been drinking, but in in America, he cannot be served. No. Hmm. On penalty of death. Is that Reed? Where? Hi, Reed. Hey. How you guys doing? doing great. Very happy. Walking around, recording a video. We're yeah. Co we're co chronicling what's happening. Yeah, what it looks like right now, today. Right. Yeah. Just want to get it on the record. It's going to look different soon. Yeah, right? Yeah. That building especially, and this one already looks different. Right. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good to see you. No, no, yeah, he didn't get the meaning, right. But I just went with it. Yeah. My meaning, <laughs> for those who are not clear, is I want to get it on the record what it looks like today with uh, everyone being all uh, freaked out about coronavirus and yeah, COVID-19, whatever. Like, um, his barbershop was closed down. Yeah, but he's been open for a long time, but you have to wear a mask. Yeah. And, I oh. just booked an appointment at a place where I have to do that, and yeah, I'm kind of bummed about it. I... I don't want to wear a mask while I'm getting my hair cut. I feel really silly and I just, mmm. But look, I gotta have my hair cut. You know, it's been a while and- I guess so. I, Only yeah. if you put too much or sufficient weight into that concept thing. I, it's a part of looking good as a human being. I, think I look pretty good. You do, but your hair just always looks magically perfect. It's the attitude. Yeah. I keep telling you every day, your hair looks better and better the longer it gets. Well, it just needs, I'm not saying it needs to be cut that much, but it just needs a little bit of attention. So the building over here too, or what? Uh, this is just a escaping area? This place isn't on Travala or anything like that yet. But I want to stay there <laughs> while it's new. I want to get like a suite and see how nice it is. I just want that. I wonder what other kind of crazy excuses they're going to come up with to keep the economy shut down. So would this, okay, so the vibe that I'm getting from this building is so like, this should be thumping and people would be like, what? Like, Right? There's an undercover cop car right there. Around the corner. Yeah. yeah. I guess maybe cars probably go right by here. They probably stop at, or don't stop at this stop sign. And then he catches them, right? Because I guess they have to stop because there's tracks. Yeah, it's my hotel, it sounds like that. 
that door right there. People should walk by and be like, what's going on inside? Where? This, like... Show me. It used to be, like, what, a fire... Oh, this? Like, a firehouse with some kind of, like, weird garage. Yeah. I wonder if he'll stop. I could buy it. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. I wonder, he's probably just there. Like just right. Maybe right. he's just parked. I don't yeah, even know if there's anyone people. in there. Um, if I could buy this and then, like, fill it with, like, foam insulation so, like, no sound could come out. It seems like well, it's a salon it. right now, right? You know what, though? I, look, I don't know. It seems fun. But... City of Portsmouth never have it. Have a, a nightclub? Yeah. In the do da spa? They do hate dancing. Well, there was a murder here uh, a few years ago that left a real stain on the uh, town. It was a dance, or no, it was like a, a restaurant, and they had dancing. And um, there was some guy, he spilled some alcohol on another guy's sneaker or a girl's dress or something, and then the, the boyfriend punched the guy who spilled the drink and killed him, knocked him out and with killed him. Yeah, with one punch, just bam, right on the ground, and he was dead. Wow. Well, and people were like, okay, I think dancing is bad. We can't have dancing at restaurants, and then all the restaurants stop doing that. That's what I heard. Yeah. You ever think that people are really dumb? <laughs> what do you mean? That uh, it's like my default position is if someone tells me to do something, well, I don't do it. You should question it. I don't do it. First of all, I, th Secondly, I, I, I assume most people's motives are good, and so if they tell you like, hey, "Watch your step," you know, they tell them to do something, they're looking out for you. Most people are looking call, out okay, for you. Anyone who claims to be an authority. If it tells me something, I, inv I actively investigate. What's the opposite of this? It is good to be skeptical of authority. Oh, there's a mini salt mountain now. Well, yeah, they need two. They need to, in case one breaks down. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of salt they got Maybe over it's there. Different kind of salt. This now they've got it wrapped up. I don't recall seeing it like that before. No, they don't want it to go away. Here's that. One nice thing, which we should try out, is we're gonna go down along Series Street. Okay. And they converted like what used to be some like boarding for a boat deck thing into an outdoor patio for the restaurant, the war house. Either that or, or it always was that, and I never noticed. They're going fast. I think the speed limit here is 15 over there and 25 right here, and then it becomes 35 after that. Out of here, you're like, oh, finally. It it does feel really slow over there. And then the Sirius XM comes back on. Yeah, that's true. So this is the view coming into Portsmouth. Really, this stone welcomes you. I think it should be the um, hotel that's back there, but that probably wasn't built when this stone was put here. I think there's another sign that says welcome to Portsmouth back there. Is there? Okay. So this is what this looks like. And here's there's groom, uh, the groomsmith, which is Reed's business. There's the new parking garage, foundry, foundry garage. It's like, uh, people don't think like investors 
like I would I would think that everyone should be actively searching for engagement with the most important thing happening this decade or this century. And what's that? Whatever it is. It just seems like it would be really obvious that you would want to pursue such a thing. But it's almost like almost no one is looking for the most important thing that's going on, which is Bitcoin. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. But I guess I guess there are act people who are social justice warriors and they think that's the most important thing. Yeah, there are people who are doing what they think is the most important thing. Yeah, but not Reed. Well, for him, it's running a business. And to that end, I think he's right. It is the most important thing he could do. Mind your business. Yeah. Bitcoins. Yeah, that's true. He could do that. Oh man, I blew Neil's mind. How? With BSV. Why? Well, he's been using Bitcoin since earlier early days. I guess I introduced him to Bitcoin in 2013. Yeah. Yeah, I think early 2013. And um he actually used this uh, Bitcoin app I made where you can send Bitcoin to uh, people on Twitter. It's kind of like a tip on thing, but not exactly. Um, and so he had, he had Bitcoin and he's been using it. He's been buying it and then spending it for ever since then. And he said that this year he finally like looked into the technicals of what's going on with Bitcoin. And then I was like, okay, well, you're, you're going to want, like, I, he, he knew for the last year or two that I that was really into BSV, so he wants to earn BSV, but he, he hadn't really experienced how much better it is, and so I had him get the money button. He doesn't have a mobile phone, so. What? He doesn't have a mobile phone. Why? He doesn't need one, apparently. Yes. Everyone needs one. No, he doesn't. No, they don't. That's not true. And so, um, it's like, okay, what wallet can you get? So he gets a money button, and he makes his name Neil. Wow. I think. Or Banana Neil. No, I think it was just Neil. I think it was available. Yeah, I think you're right. It was. And um, so... He was like, okay, so where's my address? How do I find my address? I was like, that is your address. It's Neil of moneybutton.com. And he was like, what? And then I sent from hand cash 20 bucks. It showed up in his money button. And he was like, wow. I said, okay, send to Stephen at simply.cash. Whoa, what? And he sent it immediately. It was in my wallet. Then I was like, okay, send to Siler at handcash.io. He sent it, immediately he was there instantly. And then it's like, okay, because um, he's working on AnyPay, I was like, okay, open up AnyPay and go to create an account. He's created an account and then he selected BSV and he just typed in Neil at moneybutton.com and it was ready. I paid him a dollar and it instantly showed up in his money button wallet. How is this? It's so much better than before. You know, he's been using BTC for all these years. I explained a little bit about the tight mining network and how, like, because it scales, people who are bad at running network nodes you just can't even so the like the average quality of every connection to the network is way more robust and trustworthy and because it's a ordered time stamping server basically everything is like confirmed instantly <laughs> you know it's really great I 
think honestly this is the only place where I would be allowed to have it. Because it's already homesteaded and all approved for all that. Yeah, there's always thumping music here at night. Man. Part of me... Hmm. Part of me wants to just go for it. I mean, how long... How long am I going to be on this rock? Space Disco Inc. Might be the next Ulysses in this building. <laughs> if I'm insane enough, that is. Don't you get enough on your plate? No. Running for state rep? Filing for state rep. What's the difference? I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Well, you put your name on the paper, Honestly, you just might win. I'm way less interested in... Hi, Mom! I'm way less interested in, uh... Politics than I am in house music. For what it's worth. That's probably a good thing. I don't know. House music won't break your heart. House music has already broken my heart. How so? Thanks, Brian and Kevin. <laughs> that wasn't house music's fault. It broke my heart because it was so good. The and Red then, Door, you mean? And then it was gone. The yeah. Red Door was the only house music. Hey, there's that undercover again. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> the mating call. The mating call, yeah. Before it mounts. <laughs> sure. That was so weird from Raleigh. Yeah. You said you saw a different scene at Cure. It was next to Cure. It was just the apartment attached to it. There were some kids. Oh, oh, it wasn't Cure itself. No. Okay, I see. But it was going late. Two weeks ago, there were a bunch of people in Missouri who went to a big pool party. I heard they're all dead now. No, I heard there was one person who got it or who had it. They listed his itinerary online so that people could match up like, oh, was I at this bar from 8 to 10? Was I at that bar from 10 to 11? You know, because that person, whatever, went bar hopping. There's apparently uh, some kind of attempt to link people who have it. There's like contact tracing going yeah. on. Well, that's, you know. In, in like Canada. Guess what? They've decided to revamp that. What do you mean? Contact tracing is now not just for coronavirus, for COVID. What's it for? Activists. What? Yeah, now that with all these riots, they're, they're saying we're going to use contact tracing to trace everyone who was involved and where they're going and everything. Oh. That's what it's all about. Uh, I should have gone to the press room Friday night when it was open. Yeah, send them a signal. Uh, yeah, because they were not open on Saturday night. Well, Friday is their night. I guess so. Friday's the night with the, the good energy. Everybody wants takeout from TJ's. Yeah, bar food. 
You can like, take out some nachos. I don't know what wanna, they have. We just want to drink beer and do poppers. <laughs> No, there's a place I like. Vonsalin. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to see the uh, that statue has the mask removed. Someone removed that. Yeah. Well, the statue isn't sick anymore. <laughs> the statue isn't afraid. The statue was never sick. Hey, it's my house. Hey. I think I'm gonna go in there. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking me out. Don't record my combination. I won't. <laughs>